Alrighty, we got to get started, okay? So today is a bee day. So uh, quickly though, do you have any good things to share? Uh, oh yeah, I threw your carrot pot with, with the school garden that one we might actually. Awesome, well that's a really, really good thing you're doing there. Alright, so we're on our bee day. Um, we are going to start with our reading decks, okay? okay? So we'll do our most recent parts. So let's start here. Trigraph, I, G, A. Digraph. Digraph, P, E, A. Final. Final, stable fill. Shun. So S, I, O, N. Good, now this one's tricky. It has two. Diphthong. Diphthong, O, W. And digraph. Good. Two left. Very good. All right, so now we're going to do these. All right, you ready? Easel. Easel. Very nice. All right, great job. So now we're going to go on to our instant work. So turn to your instant work tab for me. That should be your second one. Okay, so today we're going to start with phrases, okay? A phrase is a group of words that has meaning but does not express a complete thought. Remember, when we read phrases, we scoop those words. So I'm going to show you an example with number one. I do, we do, then you do. Before any does. Much before the right. Any boy does. Does same old line. Boy does right before. Mean boy does same. Any mean old line. Does too mean same. Before any right line. The thing is back. Okay, we're going to do it together. Ready? Number one. Before any does, much before the right, any boy does, does same old line, boy does right before, mean boy does same, any mean old line, does to mean same, before any right line, the thing is back. Good job. Make sure you're using that finger, okay? That's gonna help with your fluency. So let's take turns. You read number one and I'll read number two. We'll go back and forth. Before and does. Much before the right. Any boy does. Does same old line. Boy does right before. Mean boy does same. Any mean old line. Does to mean same. Before any right line. Okay, the thing is back. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the sentences, okay? Remember, Edie, a sentence is a group of words that begins with a capital letter, ends with punctuation, has a subject, a predicate, and makes a complete thought. Stop at periods, pause at commas, read question marks with expression, and exclamation marks with excitement. I didn't even scare you, I didn't even jump. All right, so you wanna read it, or you want me to read the first? Okay, go ahead. The man does think and name the right place. Okay. The man does think and name the right place. Awesome. Look at number two. What's it end with? A uh, question. So we're gonna make sure we have expression. Does any sentence does any sentence help the man think through his work? Very nice job. Number three. The boy on the right does much good. So the boy on the right does much good. Awesome. Number four. <laughs> Think through the line right before you say it. Nice. Number five. Does good mean the same as right? Nice. I love how you made your voice have expression with that exclamation mark. Number they six. They tell the same old thing too much. I do that too. Number seven. Where is the right sound? Where is the right sound? Make sure you get that expression. Number eight. Good help is in a great work. Awesome. Okay, number nine. There's a couple things in there, right? You're seeing a comma and a question mark. Say, does it 
Does good work mean right is great? Good. Read them nice and smooth one more time. Say, does good work mean right is great? Awesome. Number 10. The boy said, any line is right. Awesome. The boy said, any line is right. Awesome job, Evie. All right, so now we're going to go on. So we're going to go on to our rate packet. Flip to your B day tab. Yes, ma'am, B day tab. All right, so if I can have this, make sure we're still recording. Okay, Evie. So, so in our rate packet, I do need that. So I'm going to put my timer there. It is. All right, here we go. Ready? Make sure we're using that finger to follow along. Mate. Mate. Line. Line. Side. Side. Take. Take. File. File. Smile. Smile. Blade. Blade. Shine. Shine. Pride. Pride. State. State. All right, ready? Go. Mate, line, side, take, file. File, mate, take, line, side. Side, mate, take, file, line. Take, file, mate, line, side. Smile, blade, shine, pride, state. Blade. Blade, pride, smile, stake, shine, shine, stake, pride, blade, smile, pride, shine, blade, stake, smile, mate, file, take, shine, stake, line. Nice job. All right. So, nice job. Okay, let's go here. Echo, win. Win. Gal. Gal. Cup. Cup. Set, set, bed, bed. Prize, prize, time, time, date, date, shape, shape, mine. mine. Whenever you're ready. Win, gal, cup, set, bed, bed, win, set, gal, cup, cup, win, set, bed, gal, set, bed, win, gal, cup, prize, time, date, shape, mine, time, shape, prize, mine, date, date, mine, shape, time, prize, shape, date, time, mine, prize, win, bet, set, date, mine, gal, prize, time, set, bed, date, time, shape, cup, prize. Okay. Awesome job. All right. Health. This time we're doing vowel consonant, consonant words. Sorry, I didn't point that out earlier. Help, help with, with much, much last, last want, want spend, sorry, print, print champ, champ, grand, grand think, think whenever you're ready. Help with much last want, want help last with much much help last want want with, want with last want 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 help with much. Spend, print, champ, grand, think, print, grand, spend, think, champ, champ, think, grand, print, spend, grand, champ, champ. Nice job. Got a little tongue twisted on that want, taunt. Remember, what, aunt. After a W, the A says ah. Good job. That was a tongue twister. Okay, instant words. Want. There's that word again. Want. Want. They. They. When. When. There. There. What. What. Put. Put. There. There. Other. Other. Your. Out. out. Okay, ready? What. Want. They. Want. Want. Oh, you know what? I didn't start my timer. You get a redo, lucky you. Sorry. All right, ready? I'm not used to this timer. Set. Go. Want. 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 There. When. There. What. What won't there? They. They. When. When won't there? What they? There. What won't there? They. They. When. Put the other you out. There. Put. Put your. There. Put your out. Other. Other out. Your there. Put your other there. Okay. All right, remember, make sure you're using that finger, okay? Because that's going to help us keep that fluency, right? And keep it nice and smooth. All right, Miss Evie, that's all we're going to do on our rate packet for today. We did our phrases last time. You look very cheerful in spring this day. All right, Evie, let's go to our purple spelling tab. So go backwards. There you go. So we're going to... We're gonna 
So remember. Wait, the, the lines or the ones? Uh, those ones right there. All right, Evie, so we have our procedures here. So we're going to look and listen. Look and listen. Echo. Echo. And name and write. Mm -hmm. Remember, make sure we're saying the name as we're writing. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of being using a little board space. Mm -hmm. All right, Evie, your first one. Echo. Mm -hmm. Ow. O W. Okay, that's at the end. What about the initial remedial position? O Y. No. Think of mouse. O U. O U. Very good. So in the initial or middle position, we have O U. What was the final position again? O W. Very good. Nice job. Okay. Echo. E. Make sure you echo. E. 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 Very good. Elephant. E. Echo, go. Echo, good. G. G, good. Make sure you name it as you write it. G. Echo. F. Very good. Go echo. Name it as you write it. F. Okay. This is a tricky one. Err. Err. R or E-R. So it's this one is kind of tricky there, but it's er. So you really gotta look. So it's E R. And what else could it be? Think of words in unaccented syllables. So E R or a O R. O R, right? Like Dr. Er, right? Dr. Er. Very good. Okay, last one. Echo. Jean. Jean. He. It's a final stable syllable. Think of explosion. T explosion. S O O I N. S I O N. Good job. S I O N. Those are tricky. Remember, explosion is S I O N. Jun. Very good. All right. You can turn to your line spelling. Do the words or our, um... Yes, the words. Okay. And then we'll do a sentence and then we'll go on to our story. We just want to know what's going on with old Nori. All right, so for our spelling, we are going to look and listen. Okay. Echo. Okay. Um, today, because it's a B-Day, we don't have to pull down our sound trays. But if you need help, you can go ahead and use them, okay? We're going to unblend with our fingers. Unblend with my fingers. Name and write. Name and write. Okay. Code and read. Code and read. Okay, remember, because it's a B-Day, that's why you have that option to use your trays or not, okay? Are you good or do you want your tray? I'm good. Okay, so now that we've done our procedures, I'm going to write some spelling rules. Evie, if I hear a short vowel sound followed by a consonant sound, how will I spell that? Just what? Just spell. Spell. Consonant. That's right. Okay. If I hear uh, how will I spell that? O O. Digraph O O, right? That's right. Okay. What if I have a one syllable base word and I hear a short vowel sound? In the final position, if I hear k, what would I spell it with? Think of a truck. Oops. Digraph CK. That's good. Sorry, I kind of wrote these close together. I should have wrote them on our big board. But it's for the video. I wanted to make sure they could see. Okay. Next one. Evie, if I hear a vowel, vowel, or if I hear a consonant sound, followed by in the final position, a k sound. What will I spell it with? Just what letter? C. Just not C, but just K. K. Very good. Awesome job. If I hear the K sound followed by an A, an O, a U, or any other consonant, how will I spell that with what letter? C. C. Very good. And Evie, if I hear K followed by the E, an I, or a Y, what letter will I spell it with then? Not a C, but a K. Okay, nice job. All right, so those are your spelling rules for this one. So we're going to look and listen. Ready? Echo, back. Back. Unblend. B, a, k. All right, how do we spell that? B, a, no, B, a, c, k. Very good, because we have a one syllable base word. So go ahead and spell back. Stop, right? 
to coat it for us. Vowel in the closed syllable short, coat it with the blade. Digraph CK. Make sure you're talking it out. What's that word? Fat. Very good. Okay, next word. Milk. Milk. Unblend. Mm. Ilk. Tricky one there, huh? How do I spell it? M I L K. Very nice. Go ahead and write. Those K's are tricky, aren't they? I have it up here too if you need help with that K. Alright, nice job. No, you're okay here. Good. Alright, so let's code and read. A vowel and a closed syllable or short. Code it with the brie. How do we read that word? Milk. Milk. Very nice. Next word, echo clock. Clock. Unblend. Clock. 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 How many syllables are in this word? Just what? Just one, right? Mm -hmm. So one syllable is <clears throat> All right, how do we spell clock? C-L-O-C-K. C-K, because it's a one syllable base word. You had a short vowel sound, and in the final position, you had clock. And how do we code it? Vowel and close syllable. Good. Digraph CK. Very nice. Read that word. Clock. Good. Last word. Echo slick. Slick. Unblend. S O I K. How do we spell that? S I L K. So check it. Slick. S O I K. Okay. Spell it. S O L CK, CK, you were right, good. We just reversed that order there, good. Talk it out as you're spelling it. L, I, L, I, C, K. Very good, because if we're saying it as we're writing it, that's another way to help our brain recognize it, okay? Go ahead and code it for me. Nice job. All right, so now we're going to go on to the last part of our spelling report. This is our spelling dictation. So this is where we write our sentence, okay? Remember, the sentence goes first with our procedures. We look and listen. That's okay. We look and listen. Echo. We ask if there's any questions about the sentence. We look and listen again. Echo again. Name and write. Code and read, and then I'll read it back to you and we'll check, okay? So before we go on, I want to provide you with some things you might need, okay? Oh, wait, won't? That's okay, you can leave it open today. I'll get it fixed for you. All right, so Evie, some words you might need are the, the, you, and we haven't learned a capital U, so you can just make it bigger, of, and a capital W, we, right? Some spelling, if you have a long vowel sound followed by a consonant, okay, you're just gonna spell that vowel consonant E, okay? Evie, what if in the final position I hear I? What would I spell that with in a final position if I hear I and it's accented? Why? Why? Because do we ever, vowel Y, because do we ever end a word in I? We don't. No. Okay, now the English, right? So remember, a sentence is a group of words that begins with a capital letter, ends with punctuation, has a subject, a predicate, and makes a complete thought, right? So we should make sure all of our sentences begin with a, what letter? Capital, capital and letter. end with um, punctuation. Wait. All right, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. You set the time on the back of the clock. Echo. You set the time on the back of the clock. So we just had something happen, right? We had mm -hmm. daylight savings time where well, we all had to move our clocks back, right? So the old clocks, like the ones in the classroom, the round ones, we actually have to change it on the back. So that's where that comes from, okay? Can I watch this so I know that. You did? So you know what I'm talking about. So let's echo. Are there any questions about that? Any words? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's echo again. You set the time on the back of the clock. You set the time on the back of the clock. All right, I'm going to give you a minute or two to go ahead and write that. Thank you. Take that out. Good idea. And get that wow writing. Okay.
yourself. Okay, I want you, before we go on and I read it back to you, I want you to check for the parts of a sentence. Do we have a capital? Yeah. Do we have punctuation? Oh, good job. All right, so I'm going to read it back. You set the time on the back of the clock. You did a great job. I like how you, you went back on the word time and you checked and made sure you add that silent E. Great job. All right, Evie, you can go ahead and put that in. I clean up my mess. Sorry, it was a little small today on this little board. So we're just going to kind of close up our learning from the last two days. Got it? Okay. So just as a review of your learning, okay? you can move your phone out. We might need it here in a second, okay? So just to review, yesterday we learned a new syllable division pattern, right? Before, we had vowel, consonant, consonant, vowels, right? And we learned all the different ways we could divide there. Between the consonants, we had vowel where we divide in front of the two consonants in the vowel. A couple weeks ago, we learned vowel, consonant, vowel, right? Where the accent was in the first. Well, yesterday, we learned about words that have a vowel consonant. Then we divide and have a vowel, like in the word robin, right? So that was our example. So we added a new syllable division pattern, right? So that's kind of a review. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start upside down magic. Okay. Before we do that, you want to grab your story map out of there and we'll kind of visit it. Let's see it in the back, right? Okay. So let's just kind of go over some elements from our story. First, who are some characters we have? Who's our main character? Who's this name we have? Aunt, or what's the girl's name? I think it's Nori. Nori, that's right. And we've had um, some other characters, but Nori's our main character, right? Okay, where's our setting? Where are we at right now in the story? Uh, we're at her classroom. At her classroom, right? Her yeah, so she's been at a couple different places. What's a problem that Nori's having? The problem is that she, uh, she friended, um, she, uh, she friended, uh, what's, what's her name? Remember Pepper? She friended Pepper. She did. She became a friend with Pepper. And what's, what's so bad with that? What's wrong with Pepper? Uh, Pepper can scare little animals. Oh, and what's Nori's problem that she has personally with herself? She turns herself into animals. She does. She kind of has some upside down magic huh mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna we're gonna keep reading we're gonna see if nori has more problems or if she has a solution that comes up okay so here's your bookmark if you want to go ahead and find that i'm going to check her time okay and i'm going to go ahead evie and i'm going to set a timer just so i'm not sure that it's going to have to happen uh just we'll read for a little bit and then we'll be done okay so today when we're reading i want us to focus on a couple of things okay i want us to focus on reading with fluency if it has a period we're going to stop we pause at those commas and you did a great job earlier with those question marks of expression so let's work on that today okay keep putting that into our story here okay so chapter nine page number 80. There you go. <clears throat> Things worth doing are usually hard, Miss Star yeah. said. But so what? We're not afraid of hard work, are we? It had taken Miss Star and the seventh grade teacher 10 minutes to coax the orange kitten down from the top of the cupboard. Remember, Pepper had scared those cute kittens, huh? The calico had fled down the hall and out the door. 
but had luckily been found underneath the radiator. Now things were back to normal. Pepper had returned and slumped in her chair. I'm here to work with you, with all of you, Miss Star continued. She gave me a short no as if... A short nod. Nod as if that set to you. Settled. Settled mattered. So this is a new character. This is Marigold. Marigold, you're next. Hey, Bob. With the healing aid, stood up. I really go. Elizabeth, with three hours away, she said, I moved in with my grandparents so I could come to the program. My grandparents let me watch as much TV as I want. So that's, so that's, so that's part, part's good. So that part's good. But I miss my family. Me too, me too, no, I thought. Mary Gold went on. I'm not. I'm not upset. Don't exactly. I may. I am opposite. I'm whatever Mary Gold was. She couldn't find the right words for, or, or else she didn't want to say them out loud. It's okay. She'll show us her magic, Miss Star Jordan. If you say so, Mary Gold touched her chair and, and it began to shrink smaller and smaller. So, oh, they couldn't see it anymore. Very nice. All right, great job. So, what do you think Mary Gold's problem is? She what? She shrinks stuff. She shrinks things. I will let her. I, can, she stop, can she make stuff bigger? I don't know. Let's read to find out. I shrank my bed, and now I have to sleep on an air mattress, Mary Gold said. And I shrank my grandpa's car and now he has to use his bicycle. This year, I hope I can learn how to make things big again, or at least control the shrinkage. So then she can't make things big again yet, can she? You're kidding, scoffed Bax, the rude boy who wouldn't show his magic. You shrink things, which basically ruins them, and you don't know how to fix them? Miss Star clapped her hands. She doesn't know how yet. That's something we can work on, Marigold. Marigold bit her lip and nodded. Then, since her chair was too small to see, she sat down on the floor. Willa, you're next, said Miss Star. The girl who's, who rose from her desk was like a blonde white elf, made of pointy elbows and knees. Her hair was a pale, shiny curtain, and her mouth was full of braces. I make it rain, she said. Willa is another upside-down flare, said Miss Star. Elliot, isn't that interesting? So if she is like an elf, do you think she's a big girl or a little girl? What are elves? They're small, so she's probably small also, right? All right. Can you let, can you let flares? Oh, let's check that one. Light fires, Elliot asked. Can you light fires, Elliot asked? Bless you. Elliot, Elliot, ask the leadership. No, let's try to talk in positive. Positive is good. Miss Seven Star, you do rain at present. At eight at present. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you'll do more as you develop. We will do. do we need an umbrella? Good. So let's talk about that word present. She said, you do a rain at present. So is she talking about the present Santa Claus brings? She's talking about like right now, at this present time, this time right now. Okay. So Willa. Willa nodded. Okay. I am prepared to start. So that has our prefix pro in it. So pro. Pro. So let's go this one up a little bit because this is a good one to cut. So we have, okay, how am I going to cut this? Are you, you know what? Let me give you the marker and I want you to cut this. So what will we do here? First, try you're going to box that whole thing. Prefix, pro. Good. What about that C? What's it doing? It's making a k sound so it gets a. Okay, back. Mm -hmm. Good. What's here? A. 
AI. And what's AI say? A, right? Like nail A. Okay. And what about suffix ED? It's good. All right, so let's read it. Pro Claimed. Proclaimed. So she proclaimed it. Good. She proclaimed she she soared to the group of yellow bird leading the choir. She muttered one to, to each girl. Well, where do you well, she called out Lori fell her deserter with the little if we if we will if Willem couldn't make rain, that was important. She could help crop grow, bring plants to garden. Barren. Barren. So it's like empty, blank deserts. Help animals a grow. Help animals a grow. No. So let's read that nice and hard. And said, start here. She. No, let's read here. Okay, so let's see. It's in the same thing. Help animals. A grow. A grow. A rain. Use that finger to see what happened oh. there. You see it? All right, so try that. So ready? Uh, bring plants to barren deserts. Pause. Help animals. A rain. A rain time could really be useful. There you go. Maybe it is very, very un unusual. Unusual. Good. Unusual. But no one could fairly call it one. So she got her umbrella open inside the rain poured from the ceiling. She had seen the room and running in small ripples, from everyone's umbrella. The floor is wet, said Elliot, and the carpet, said Mar Mary Gold. And all our papers said facts in in the book. So we've learned we've we've been introduced to some new characters, right? Are they important characters that we should add them to our characters on our story map? Or are they just people that are we might come across in the story? People we might. Come so they're not a key character, okay? Good job. All right, we have a couple more pages. We'll finish this chapter and we'll be done, okay? So you're on eighty four, right? You're good. It's kind of awesome though. Nori murmured, admiring a raindrop on the toe of her sneaker. Is it? said Andres. Really? His umbrella? I'll wait for you following along. Oh, we have two more pages. Yep. So where are we at? Right here. Mm -hmm. Is it? said Andres. Really? His umbrella was inverted and filled with rain. It had become heavy and was pulling his upper body down while his feet stayed on the ceiling. He was soaked. Mm -hmm. So inverted. That means it's like flipped the other way. Willa turned the rain off. Sorry, she said. It never ends well. I can only do it indoors, so it's kind of worthless. Positives, remember, said Miss Starr. Every day is an adventure, and Willa has a remarkable and unusual talent. We'll get the janitor in here. And Andrus, I'll see if I can get you dry clothes. She picked up the classroom phone and made a call. After she hung up, she said, problem solved, but let's all bring in spare things to keep in our lockers, okay? The days will go smoother that way, with Willa and Marigold and Elliot among us. The flare classrooms all have to do the same, you know, and they need burn ointment. So we should count ourselves lucky. Why are they lucky? Because they, they can't, what? Those flares can't make things catch on fire, can they? Yeah, they can't. All right, you're up. So I want you to make sure between the paragraphs we're taking a brief pause, okay? I told I I can totally let it fly it's an outlet. You just don't give me a chance to show it. Everyone holds the umbrella and does awkwardly awkwardly around the wet bed. It's down to you, Jack said Star smiling. Yeah. The one student who hadn't shown his magic. Are you ready to share? No, Jack said. Come on, Jack, the star said. She was firm but friendly. We will all support you and we will help you become your best self. The sprint of the UDM classroom is trust. I don't think I should, Jack and Jennifer. I disagree because it starts talking by you know. Um, your papers that are unusual, Rock Claire. 
black and white, right? Um, no, no one showed us a very in interesting. Miss Bart gave Nori a smile. What, what was it? A bitten Nori, a beaver kitten, said Nori. A lovely bitten, said Miss Dart. And after that, I think we're prepared to handle anything. So, Bax? Bax cradled his head in his hands. Whenever you're ready, Miss Dart said. Fine, he mumbled. Nori heard a whoosh as Bax turned into a tremendous chunk of rock. The floor shook as he crashed off his chair and onto the floor. Whoa, Willa said. That was a great sound wave, Sebastian added. He's a rock, Nori said, astonished. She had never known a flexor to become a rock, a plant, or anything that wasn't an animal. She couldn't quite believe it. He's really something, said Miss Star. She hopped off her desk and walked around Bax, admiring the thoroughness of his transformation. Very good, Bax. All rock, no boy. How do you feel? Bax just sat there. Miss Star laughed. Okay. You've proved your point. Now change back, please. Bax just sat there. Bax, Bax, Mr. Star shook him. Miss Star. So Bax, Miss Star shook him. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. I think he needs that. Um, it took four people to roll him down the hallway to the medical office. <coughs> Nurse Rail was a Pudgy. Pudgy gentleman, gentlemen Good. who wore scrubs de, de, decor. Decorated. Decorated with a, with a unicorn. He seemed surprised to see Bax, but confident. Mm -hmm. He promised to have it fixed up before lunch was over. Nora followed the rest of her classes on the way to the cafeteria. It's up for down large class, she thought. A freezer, a plant, a girl who shrieks things, a girl who wets things, a girl who sees sound waves, a rocky flexor, a flexor who can't be, who can't, a fly who can't, who can't come down from the ceiling. Nori took her hundredth deep breath of the day. She wanted to look up, up to look on the bright side. But from where she was standing, it did not feel much of one at all. Very good. All right, so let's go ahead and go ahead and put your bookmark in there. We're going to revisit our story map before we go. So tell me, did our setting change at all? Do we have a new setting? Are we still at her school? Mm -hmm. We're still at her school. Do we have any new main characters? We have we met a lot of supporting characters or people, but we're not sure if they're really a character in the story yet, right? How about our problem? Did we talk any more about Nori's problem? Or are we... She framed a... She framed a... So we talked about she friended Pepper, right? Yeah. So any new problems besides that yet? No, not really, huh? Did we find any solutions to her problems? Her Has she solved any of those problems she had yet? No, okay. Sometimes you'll have chapters like that. All right, Miss Evie, once you finish that, go ahead and put that up. Remember your homework tonight is your reading log okay. and instant words, okay? So that's your homework. Oh. Yep, those are your instant words.